But we have beaten Borussia Dortmund 2-1 in a DFB Pokal match. Um, probably our most important game of the season. And it's actually, I was actually really glad to see how we played. Uh, first half especially, you know, first half we looked very, very good. Um, you know, we had a lot of chances, which we obviously didn't capitalise on. An issue that we've had for most of the season. But the main thing is that we've actually beaten him now. We've progressed in the group. We've progressed to the next group, to the next stage of the DFB Pokal. And the good thing is we've beaten pretty much two of our main rivals in the process. Red Bull Leipzig, sorry, Rasen Valsport Leipzig, as well as Borussia Dortmund. Pretty much, um, you, you can't really expect it to go much better at you know this early stage of the season, especially with the kind of problems that we've had so far with Ancelotti, kind of problems that we've had getting used to, obviously, your Heinke as a system again. So, considering all the factors, we've actually done really, really well. And obviously, yesterday, like, like I said, the first half, we did really, really good. Uh, I thought, you know, we could have easily gone up 3-4-0, perhaps. Um, but in the second half, you know, we kind of, kind of just... I don't know, we just didn't play as well. You know, you could tell the players are tired. The window break is coming up now, which is obviously perfect. But the players, are, you know, the players are obviously tired. But the important thing is by that time, it's already too late. By the time Dortmund tried getting back into the game, we had plenty of chances to counter, which we didn't capitalise on. But ultimately, yeah, we still had those chances, and that's the important thing. Now, if we were more clinical, you know, if we were, if we actually capitalised on that, we could have perhaps gotten, you know, two to three more goals. Uh, but the main thing is that we're through. The main thing is that you know we've won. Now we've got a winter break coming up. Um, you know the players, coaches, you know they all be able to uh, mesh together. They all be able to gel together. And ultimately, I expect us to be much, much better in the second half of the season. I expect us to play much better. I expect us, you know, to uh, to actually be more clinical because that is an issue that we've had for a very long time now. I feel like all I almost feel like under Ancelotti we didn't have that issue, but like under Jupp Heynckes we were creating a lot more chances but we're not really capitalizing on them we're not really finishing the chances so you know it's all about taking your chance and that's what we have to do right now now yesterday you know when, when your defender scores when Boateng scores you know that you know your team is creating a lot um but Boateng scoring in the first half after you know i think that was like a six shot a third a third one uh third shot i hit the crossbar and then you have miller who chips the keeper brilliant finish from a player that you know has been struggling a lot lately you know he's uh, been criticized a lot lately by the media and he's been criticized a lot by coaches as well but yesterday, you know, that finish was just sublime. Um, so yeah, two one. Ultimately, you know, I think we, it would have if it was five one or even six one, it would have been fully deserved considering how we played in the first half. But in the second half, Dortmund they did come back. I feel like they almost had too much of a negative approach into the game, and that ultimately cost them. But the good thing is, it didn't cost us. That's the good thing. So yeah, um, overall, very very satisfied with the match. Overall, very happy with how it progressed. And the good thing is now we're through. In the group in Champions League and a DFB Pokal, so that means that this should be a fun second half of the season. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. And until then, ladies and gentlemen, peace out, everyone, and have a nice day. Bye.